All right, what's going on, guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be doing video giving my thoughts on the updates we have for The Walking Dead from Comic Con at Home for 2020. Uh, now we have the premiere date for The Walking Dead Season 10's finale, as well as the information that Season 10 is likely going to be extended by six episodes. All right, and I'll put the links in the description so you guys can go ahead and uh, check out the info here for The Walking Dead Season 10's finale, as well as it being extended by six episodes. Uh, I haven't completely gone through all of the footage yet for the uh, the Comic-Con from Home panel. I'm going to do soon, and we'll probably do separate videos, uh, maybe one for uh, Fear the Walking Dead with its, uh, with its information, and uh, also for uh, Walking Dead World Beyond. So for The Walking Dead Season 10's, uh, air dates for the main show, uh, which we'll focus on in this video. Uh, we got some scheduling information for that now, so it is going to be October 4th uh, on AMC that they're going to be showing uh, The Walking Dead Season 10's finale, which... Um, you know, I, I am a fan of. I think that makes sense. You know, surprisingly, we're almost at the end of uh, July now anyway. Uh, so you might as well save it for like an October premiere because we're used to that each year. Uh, so I like this decision. October 4th, uh, to me, makes a lot of sense uh, to see that finale episode. Now, because the season is going to be extended, if, uh, if that's correct, if that all goes well, uh, then it actually won't really be the season finale for The Walking Dead Season 10. And instead, what it's actually going to be is, it's actually going to be episode 16. And then we would get another six episodes after that. So we'd get 17, 18, 19, uh, 20, 21, and uh, episode 22 would be our uh, actual season finale, uh, which would air in 2021. Um and it looks like what they're planning on doing is uh, if everything goes well and if we don't go into a second lockdown in the fall time, especially in the United States, uh, then they should be able to film, it sounds like, six episodes. So it's not quite a half season. It's not the eight episodes that, uh, that we usually see per half. Uh, but it sounds to me like what they want to do is they would do, because they can't film uh, 16 episodes this year uh, for a season 11 uh, like they normally would, um, it sounds like they're planning on filming at least six of them or, or to, to film six episodes this year still. And instead of showing them in the fall time because they won't be able to get them done by then, uh, what they'll do is they'll show them in early uh, 2021. So it'll kind of be like um, maybe like the second half of what would have been season 11, uh, except for, for COVID and the lockdowns and everything. Um, so because of that, they would be aiming to do a long season 10 with some breaks in between a uh, 22 episode season, which is going to make that the longest season they've ever done. But it's over, you know, it's over a couple of years. Season 11 then uh, won't air until 2021. That's for certain. And um, it'll be tricky to say whether or not they'll be able to air that starting in the fall 2021. That kind of makes sense to me that they would likely be able to. So this way of doing things, if they do this, um, it won't be a whole year off uh, for Walking Dead. Instead, what it would be is we get the premiere episode in the fall in October or, or the, the finale premiere, uh, as it normally would be. And then the second half of when season 11 would normally air, instead will still be season 10. Uh, it'll just be an additional six episodes or however many they can get done. Let's say maybe they can't get six episodes done, but they can do four or five or something. Maybe they just air that. They air that instead in 2021's you know, early 2021, like a winter uh, or spring type of release, like we're used to seeing a second half of a season. And then maybe next year they can film for season 11 uh, as per normal, usual schedule. And then season 11 would premiere in the, um, the fall of uh, 2021. So I, I am a huge fan of that release schedule. I like that. I think that sounds really good. And again, we got to keep in mind, this is all contingent on if the U.S. economy continues to run and there isn't a second lockdown in the fall time. Um, now, that will keep for a different video. don't really want to give too much thoughts on that, but the, the power players with regards to that will be obviously Trump. Uh, and then if he gets reelected, continuing, uh, we'll see if he does or he doesn't. Maybe he will, maybe he won't. Don't know. People have passionate opinions about that and whether or not that's going to happen. But basically, if the numbers for COVID go crazy in the fall, 
and um, and you're, you're, you're basically Gates, <laughs> Fauci and the others. If Gates puts the pressure down, our, our unelected world uh, king, world health kingpin, if he puts the pressure down on, on Trump and on the others in the U.S. administration enough, you know, it's it's at least possible. I, I hope we don't see a second lockdown in the, uh, the fall time. I think we'd all be really disappointed if we all have to lock down again. And it's disastrous for businesses. It's disastrous for the economy uh, and for the government, too, because then they have to print, you know, print all the money and, and pay everybody so that they can uh, shut down and everything. So I don't think we'll see that. I really don't. And um you know, let's just hope that uh, that that's the case, because we, we, you know, none of us, none of us want to see that. So it says, but those announcements, which came with an extended version of the episode's opening minutes, uh, now with more beta. Well, there's a little bit more beta in like the trailer that you can kind of see, uh, and there, therefore, more crazy, crazy uh, where. Uh, or were, but the tip of the iceberg. Showrunner Angela Kang also revealed that season 10 was being extended by six episodes to air in early 2021, if all goes well. Uh, Mike or Galli, et cetera, they, they said six more episodes of season 10. Uh, what do you think this is all about? So it's great. So it's just, Mike, my, my, my understanding is that's as many as they can get done based on where we're at right now, based on timing. They think like maybe we can get six episodes done. So we'll see if that's the case. That would be good. But um, who knows? Because they have to. I would think that they're going to be doing some kind of social distancing uh, 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 program as well with the acting and whatnot. So maybe they have to, when they get on set or when they get to the location, maybe they have to isolate for like a week or two and then they can do their scenes and whatever and then later can leave. So every time they come back, they'd have to kind of like quarantine themselves for like 10 days or something before they can go on set and be close to other people and whatnot. So it could, it definitely could slow things down, especially with, that's one of the things with COVID, especially with travel, it really slows things down because if you travel to another country, then they expect you to be kind of quarantined for a while. And then when you travel back, then you have to quarantine again. So if you quarantine, so let's say in the extreme case, you quarantine two weeks before well, you get there, like you go there two weeks, you have to stay and, and then you can leave and then you can go do your business and then you fly back and then two weeks you have to stay again. So you're basically losing almost a month of productivity uh, because you have to quarantine twice as you go and then and then not and then you get back and then and then stay at home again for two weeks or whatever. So um Crazy stuff, man. Walking Dead level uh, protocol craziness. Uh, so what does that mean for season 11? Sadly and obviously it means uh, that season 11 uh, won't be able to premiere in October. The Walking Dead seasons always do. Yeah, so we already knew that based on, you know, um, based on timing for filming that there's no way that uh, humanly possible that it, it could even be reasonable to even think that it could possibly air season 11 this October. That's obviously not going to happen. So I like their decision that they made. So they've decided to extend season 10 further by six rather than do a season 11 that's only six uh, and then do a season 12 after, you know, in the fall or something. So that makes sense to me. Um, it's going to be pretty cool. I wonder if the Blu-ray DVD will be more expensive because it's going to have 22 episodes on it. Uh, but either way, I mean, it's really good and uh, I'm happy because I was thinking they might have to show the premiere and then no new episode until the next fall. Uh, so it would be literally a full year off, um, you know, from that uh, and just getting to see the finale and then a full year until you see season 11 start. So this is kind of kind of better in some ways. Um, so in terms of uh, the other details and everything, I'm going to go through everything, but um, it does look like the finale is going to be really exciting. Uh, they talked about the last two minutes being really great. There's a quote here. It says, obviously, we've got this new uh, power group of four with Princess and Ezekiel and Yuji and Yumiko that is off on the road. And so we are going to see some interesting uh, turns in that, Kang said during a conversation with series star Jeffrey D. Morgan. And then the big uh, story that we have been following all season is, or with, with the whispers, now that Alpha is gone and Beta is having to step up into that leadership role with his uh, kind of half Alpha and Beta face, uh, we're going to see people uh, take their stand against Beta and the whispers. Good stuff. And I think she said that um, the future seasons will have like more of an urban feel. Uh, I think there was an interview I saw where it said that because they're going to be, uh, you know, in the, uh, the cities and uh, near the Commonwealth is going to be more of a, an urban environment versus uh, always seeing kind of the, um, uh, you know, what we're used to around Alexandria and that. 
So that's kind of cool too. So I'm looking forward to kind of seeing that eventually here. So that'll be it for this video, guys. Just with those couple pieces of information, there's more to go through and we have to discuss fear. We have to discuss uh, maybe uh, World Beyond. So we'll get into that. I think there's a new trailer for World Beyond too. So we'll check that out soon. Uh, leave your comments below. What are you guys most excited for uh, that you uh, that heard about at the, uh, the Comic-Con from home? Uh, and how do you feel about season 10 being extended by six episodes and uh, kind of this uh, October premiere date? for the uh, episode 16 of season 10, which is now no longer really the finale. If you like this video, please sum it up below. You can share, you can favorite, and you can subscribe to the bottom left if you're new. That's it for this one. I'll see you guys again soon for another Walking Dead video. As always, this is Trev, and I'm saying peace later, guys. See you soon.